Hi, hello, thanks for joining me. Uh, today I'll be making a video to briefly explain how a desiccant dryer works. So let's go. Okay, here we have a small desiccant dryer. So you can see it like just it is just a block, but actually on the inside it is split into two. So you can see it on this diagram here as a simulation. So in here, they are actually activated aluminum balls. So it is usually white or a little bit gray in color. So it is used to kind of catch the moisture. So it roughly works like this. Compressed air gets goes in to the one of the chambers, passes through. So the the moisture gets collect not absorbed but just catch collected on the outside of the aluminum ball and passes out as a dry air so from there most of the supply goes to the, the pipeline where it, it is needed but there is something that is not illustrated here that there is actually a small bypass okay so the purpose of the bypass is that the previous chamber that was in use where air was processed there's already moisture collected in there so the bypass of dry air will actually go in to the previous chamber and gets blown blows out uh, by the exhaust so the dry air will then blow out all the moisture that is collected by the exhaust and therefore regenerating this chamber and then the whole process can chip can start again so it will switch from one chamber to another sometimes depending on models or makers it is a uh, time based or in some cases it, it has uh, the dew point has an influence on it so generally you will have valves solenoid valves that control the inlet and the exhaust and of course you have uh, uh, exhaust for all the moisture that was collected so usually we will put a silencer on the uh, sound absorber on the exhaust because when it does go it can be quite loud so generally that's how a desiccant dryer works and thank you for watching